All right, what's up guys? So we are, we're camping uh, the weekend after our Carnival Mardi Gras cruise. This is what we do right here when we're not cruising. We're doing the camping thing with the motorhome. So uh, yeah, <clears throat> we're over here at, uh, let me stop for a minute and back up. I'm, I'm still halfway sick from the cruise um it's like it's like i'm about i about lost my voice and, and i can't talk um i mean i had everything it was like the crud bronchitis sore throat probably uh, strep throat runny nose cough aches pains you name it i had it and it was like my daughter had a covid test we got home on sunday and so now it's it's thursday so sunday this week we got home from florida from the cruise and <clears throat> i told my daughter i said look I, I don't know what's going on i said i just want to check it you have you know she's got a COVID test so <clears throat> because she's in college so i took the COVID test and it was negative it was one of those home tests obviously so i don't know how accurate they are but uh, i was more worried about a false positive than a than a than a negative but um, it, it said I was negative, so it's not COVID. So if uh, you're watching this video, you're on the cruise, it won't COVID. And so, uh, but anyway, so we're over here uh, in Chatham County, uh, North Carolina, uh, and it's uh, where Jordan Lake is. And so we've been coming out to Jordan Lake for years and years and years and years and years with the with the wonderful palazzo right here behind me so the motorhome that was a nightmare when we first got it so but anyway this thing is uh this thing back here is uh let's see well the chassis is 10 years old it's a 2013 chassis but it's a 2014 motorhome so this thing right here that you're looking at behind me is 10 years old so we still enjoy it um it's one of those deals where I'd lose my ass if I was to try and get rid of it. So we're just hanging on to it. Um, I've tried to sell it a couple times and there's really not been much interest in it. Um, but I'd rather keep it because I've already done so many things to it to kind of, you know, make it ours. Like, you know, the mods and stuff I've done to it. Um, obviously I put, you know, I took this wheel simulators off of it and, uh, I put the black spikes on it, so you know it, it looks pretty cool. But uh, I mean, to me at this point, it's it's just a I don't know. It's a it's a truck with a house on the wheels. I mean, it is what it is, right, mommy? The motorhome is what it is. Don't fall. But uh, it's great because we can bring the dog with us. And they're right, Roscoe. Roscoe loves camping, by the way. So it's great to bring the dog with us, huh? I don't know. It's, it's hanging up in there. You can see it. So anyway, um, if you guys have any questions about the motorhome camping or anything, just drop me a comment and I'll be more than happy to answer anything you guys have. But uh, anyway, the reason why I brought y'all out here was we just got here this afternoon and uh, I saw something really cool pulling in or actually back into our site. So let me go over here and I'll show you what I saw. And the first thing that thought my, kind of my mind was somebody hit this tree. But the more I looked at it, I realized no one hit the tree. Um, it's really cool, but uh, it's the kind of things you see when you come out in nature, I guess. But uh, <laughs> let's see here. Let me see. All right, let's see if I can see this tree right here. So when I pull down, like, you know, okay, so basically what I do is, okay, here's, here's, here's the road I come down on behind me. So we come straight down from right there. So I was pulling down just like this right here and uh <clears throat> pulling down and uh i guess I, I came to about 
the front of the motorhome is about right here. So to back into that spot, you know, right there like that. So I looked up at this tree right here and I saw this tree and I'm like, check it out. Look at that. So I looked at this tree right here and I'm like, man, something skint the hell out of that tree. And uh, so I, I thought, well, did someone hit it? I'm like, like, no, no one hit that tree. Here's what happened. So let's come down to this site. And I'm sure someone's gonna have the site rented for the, for the Memorial Day weekend here. It is Memorial Day 2023. Uh, this tree right here, man, and I've seen this tree. This is a huge tree. And this thing fell. Look at this. This thing fell that direction. And I tell you what, it must, and you can tell where they, I guess where they sawed it off and everything. But man, I tell you what, I would have hate to have been here in something when that tree fell because that tree could have fell on somebody's RV. You never know. But she's a big one. And this tree was not, we, we stayed here about a month or so ago and this tree was not down. So check this out guys this thing is huge look at this and they just like i'm surprised they cleaned up what they did but they i guess it was such a it was probably going across the road but look at this pine look at this thing how big it is it's huge check it out great that's a hardwood all right we got us some nicely grilled chicken wings right there check that out and now we're going to sauce them up when we get inside the RV right here. <clears throat> okay. All right. What kind of sauces we got? Look at all these sauces we got. Hell of everything, don't we? Mm -hmm. What do you got right there? Sweet, sour, and um, sesame oil. Nice. Go check, check out you doing this right here. I'll take one big one. Nice. And I can use this here. Is that all you want? Yep. Just stir it around. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I want. Buffalo wing. We got sweet baby rays, buffalo wing sauce. I guess I'll try these. This is these. camping way. This is camping way. It's the same way they do it in restaurants. You know that, right? <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and <coughs> spin this sauce in this bowl right here. All right. So I put a little bit of this... Uh, Buffalo wild wing medium sauce on here, and now I'm gonna put some uh, sesame oil on here as well. That'll give it a little bit of sweetness to the hot to the heat. Good people are trusted. Just a little bit, perfect. All right, and then all we need to do. Just give it a twirl. Find that right there. That right there. You give it a spin in the bowl. Spin it up real good. Give it a give it a little spin. Look at there. Just like that. All right. And now you got some. Now you got some restaurant. You got some restaurant style wings right there. So we're gonna chow down on this and uh, some broccoli. Customized. The fully down. It's loud. Yeah. All right. So gotta have your gotta have your proteins, your chicken, and you gotta have your greens. And we'll be set. We'll check y'all later. Have a good one. Man, my voice is. Bad. To say, just ahead. Good morning, everybody. Day two of uh, our camping trip. And uh, is this day two? This is day two, isn't it? No, day three. We got here Thursday. Stayed all day yesterday, and it's Friday. I mean, it's uh, Saturday already. Oh my goodness. It's supposed to be raining all day today. But that's okay. When you're in a motorhome, it's just like you're at home, right? Motorhome. So. If it rains outside, it's all good. But I just wanted to show y'all something. I want to show y'all something right here. Look at this dog. Look at that dog right there. Just like a human being.
All right. I'll catch y'all in a few. Later. Still trying to get my voice back. It's awful. Be my bidet in the motorhome. All right, y'all. So, is it possible to put a bidet in a motorhome? Yes, it is. And let me show you what I got going on here. <clears throat> so, here's my green co bidet. It's just a, you know, cold water bidet. It comes right up through the middle. And uh, the way I hooked it in is I took some, I made a T into the existing uh, PEX pipe down here. And as you can see, there's a T. There's a T right, right there. It's just a, a plastic T fitting with a little bit of PEX pipe and then an adapter to go to a, uh, a rubber hose fill, which comes right up to the green coat. And there you have it. That's how you can put a bidet on your RV uh, potty. There you go. So you got a bidet better than a million dollar motorhome and a cheap RV. There you have it. Uh, you're camping today in uh, in perfect fashion something breaks yet again so this time it was the window shade we had put it down and then we tried to go put it up and no bueno it didn't work so I already checked and we have 12 volts up here in both directions because it's a the motor is uh We'll go up or down so it just reverses the polarity basically with this button right here up or down the controller is down here which you probably can't see because it's too dark but i've already fixed the controller one time at home and fixed it then but this time it's definitely the motor and that's the motor right there so i got it i did have a motor one time I replaced it, uh, well I didn't replace it, I'm sorry, I tried to replace it, but I found out the motor was still good, and I ordered one on Amazon, uh, roller shade, and it was the wrong one, and that's when I realized the motor's still good, you could put a battery on it and it would spin it, but now it won't down there, so anyway, the joys of RV ownership, and now we gotta put the, uh, so I've already taken the shade down, and that's the shade right there, so I'm going to put it in the closet and put it somewhere where it's safe. It doesn't get damaged. All right. We'll catch y'all later. See y'all. By the way, pro tip. When you own an RV, motorhome, trailer, fifth wheel, whatever, make sure you bring every conceivable tool you think you will need so you can work on it while you're using it. For example, I have a tool bag. And I got just about every tool that I think I could possibly need in there, including wire cutters, and uh, also a drill, and most importantly, most importantly, a voltmeter. Make sure you bring a good voltmeter uh, when you go camping, that way you can check things, voltages, and you know, see if you got a blown fuse, or if it's a bad 12 volt motor or something, and it's not a switch or something stupid, so. Pro tip, bring tools. All right, y'all have a good one. All right, guys, what's up? <clears throat> it's beautiful weather we're having here in central North Carolina. And it is Memorial Day weekend, 2023. It's raining. I'm in a full-on hoodie, and it's probably about 58 degrees. Totally unusual for North Carolina on Memorial Day weekend, but it is what it is. I'm not complaining. Any day camping is better than a day sitting at home in the easy chair or in front of the computer. So, yeah. If anything, I'm making these videos for, you know, for me to go back and look on YouTube and see what we were doing for Memorial Day weekend 2023. And this is it. 
It's uh, cool. No, it's cold. I'm not gonna lie, it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> and uh, we didn't even bring the boat this weekend. We're ever gonna bring the boat. But y'all check this out. If y'all can hear the planes coming over, these are planes coming into RDU, Raleigh Durham International Airport. Look at this, I can catch it. Let me see, I can catch it. Look, check it out. That's wild, look. <laughs> I've been like plane after plane after plane's been landing at RDU, I guess. They're, they're coming in on approach over Jordan Lake. It's the coolest thing ever. Dogs on. Got some smoke going. It looks good and it smells good. Let me show you these dogs. We got some bun length all beef dogs. Look at that. I don't want to burn them. Let's see here. I want to get these turned quick. I don't want them to burn them. We'll move them around a little bit. There'll be some good dogs. Yeah. Look at all that goodness on there. Look at that. I don't think we need to leave them here long. It won't take long to cook these. Just get them, get them nice and burnt on the outside a little bit and we'll be good to go. Camping. That's how we do it. I think we have the perfect dog. Gonna pull them off and dig in. All right, guys, here you go. This is the perfect camping meal. It's the perfect hot dog. There you go. We got the perfect hot dog, yes, with <coughs> ketchup. <coughs> Excuse me. Mustard, chili. Again. I know, I'm not, I'm not gonna go over because I'm still sick. A little bit of salad with balsamic vinaigrette and some tater tots and ketchup. There you go. Getting ready to dig in. Well, good morning. It's day four of our uh, camping trip here at uh, Jordan Lake. And well, sometimes you just have to take it upon yourself to become an engineer and solve problems. <laughs> we had a little uh, ponding experience here in our campsite. <clears throat> You know, obviously these old campsites aren't exactly made to drain water in the event of a torrential downpour. So I have created somewhat of a, a drainage ditch for our campsite here. And uh, let's see how well this is working out. There we go. There's the, there's the lake that has created itself inside our campsite. And so... I came over here and gave ourselves a little bit of drainage. There we go. See, seems to be working out pretty good. So I just made this video about camping and Memorial Day weekend. And um, I just wanted to say thanks to, let me get the camera right. Thanks to um, all of our uh, veterans and all of our active military. Um, I really appreciate what you guys do for us. So. I just want to throw it in there. I couldn't end my video without saying that. So, um, really appreciate uh, what you guys do for us. So, um, I don't think a lot of YouTubers or people even bring it up. They just say they're having a good time for Memorial Day weekend and we, we don't really stop to think what it's all about. And these birds are still going crazy. Wow. America and the birds are still going crazy. Anyway, I really appreciate it. Thank y'all so much.